Good evening, guys. It's late. But it's gonna late than never. Get in, get in, so we can start. Welcome, guys. Get in and greet, please. Get in and greet. How was your week? How was your week? I see the love. I see the love. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, tell me about your week. When you get in, please greet and tell me about your week. Good evening, family. Please greet. As cool name, let's talk. There are six people here, but they are not saying anything. Last week I said the purpose of life is for us to have an interaction. So let's interact. It's not my show, it's our show. So let's greet each other so that we can start the ball. Anyway. So we're gonna start with a song, worship song, so I can pray, guys. Uh, it has been a, a, a good week, we thank God. I believe that you guys are well. Welcome all of you who are here, thank you for joining. This is the Fix With Righteous. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for the love, thank you for the love. I don't know what that love means, hello or what, but thank you guys. I'm going to pray, I'm not going to take much of your time tonight because I'm going to have Lord shedding at 8, so I'll try to summarize this and finish as quick as possible. Thank you guys, I see you're getting in, welcome, 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 welcome. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity granted to us, O oh God, to speak to your people. I pray, God Almighty, that may my story, may my life be a testimony to someone. May I be, O oh God Almighty, the person and I continue to serve my purpose as you have called me on this earth, O oh, oh God. Try to that one. And that one, I pray that tonight be productive. And later on, when someone watches this, may they get touched and receive their message, God, as you want them to. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Bless your name. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Something very wonderful happened two weeks ago, if not three weeks ago. So as we continue, last week I was telling you that when I discovered that age was just a number then i started to flourish i started to live my best life i started to explore and love the parts of me that i didn't love okay one of the story that one of this one of another story that i omitted was that when i was three years name and i had pimples the whole of my body you know the story of job <laughs> So I had pimples, ne? That, that is when I'm, oh, welcome guys, I see we are full house. I had pimples, my whole body, and that time my parents were still doing revivals. And um, so 
uh, we were in coma, I remember this other time when my mom took me to the clinic. I was so scared of injection. So, because these things were just all over my body. Then from there, remember I was three, that is when my sister was born. So, I had marks, I still have actually. I had marks the whole of my body, on my legs, every way. So, as a result, but not on my face, thank God. As a result, I didn't love my body. I didn't love my face. My body was so ugly. I couldn't wait to get a job, get medical aid, or see a dermatologist. Because that is one thing that had reduced my self-esteem. So, I got a job. I got medical aid. I went to a dermatologist. And one thing I love about about honest doctors you know some doctors will just tell you keep coming we're gonna sort this out that one asked me how long have you had this pimple this marks they were so black so i said since i was three years she said i don't want to lie to you i mean i went to two of them they said they told me the truth no the first one didn't say she gave me uh, some soap that i should use and she gave me something but the second one is an old man I went like 2020 or so so she, he said to me I don't want to lie to you because these things you had them when you were young I don't want to lie they are not going to go away you can just come but if it was on the face I'm talking to someone who's struggling with pimples who, who's spending more money they are saying if it's on your body guys there's nothing that they can do like I'm, I was there is something then so he said I don't want you to waste your money but anyway this is why I'm drawing you to. I started to admire my scars. I looked at my body. I looked at them black as they were. And I'm like, but I'm beautiful. You know, I, because I, I used to wear long, hide my pants, long, long things, hide. Because I don't want people to notice me, notice that I've got bad uh, body or skin. You know, I would hide. I may, I, I like, I used to hide. So that time, that's when I, learned to love myself with all the bad things i don't admire about myself i didn't love my body then i had to change what i don't love about my body so that i can be comfortable in my skin you know so but then that that happened after the journey of self-discovery like i said uh, my life was a mess before so life after the pains and all the the things that i had to go through i started to uh, flourish in a lot of things why because i stopped looking for happiness in wrong places did you get that i stopped looking for joy in wrong places i realized that joy was not found in a man joy was not found in a relationship joy was not found in a job joy was not found in being rich joy is not found in having it all but joy is found in christ and within yourself if you are struggling within yourself to get the joy none of these other worldly things can give you joy so i learned that and my life transformed you know because that was i i remember i told you that um I couldn't even go on trips. I couldn't even go out alone. I couldn't because I just wanted to go out with someone. And that someone should be a male figure, you know. But now after that self-discovery journey in 2018, I realized that joy comes from God. Then I can live my best life. Why shouldn't I live my best life? God has given me a job. God has given me a car. God has given me everything that I need. Why shouldn't I live my best life? So my life began, guys. I started to have dates alone. So I take myself out, go to a nice fancy restaurant, pay good, good, good price, eat good food. And I dress up nicely. That time I'm not looking for a man, guys. That time I'm I'm doing me and I just want to heal from everything and be by myself and be happy. Yes, 
when you are out there and you know you you've had this and i love saying this word that when you are happy on the inside it reflects on the outside okay so that time i was i was i had peace of mind in deep within me i i was complete within myself guys there are so many i don't understand why you are not saying anything <laughs> say something hello are you there say good say good evening just say something please because you are a lot here but you're not greeting Say something, hello, you can hear me. Because I don't even know, I'm carrying on talking. Maybe you guys are, can't even hear me. Can you hear me? Askulume, let's talk. I'm not going to continue until I hear something from someone. I see the laughs, but I don't know what they are for. I see the likes. Just greet and say, righteous, we can hear you. Yes, we are here. Yes, Mrs. Amanda, last week I asked that I cannot, please, you can just turn off, turn around your camera on your side because I post this on YouTube. So it's a struggle for me at the later stage when I'm editing. So please bear with me. Turn, just rotate your phones, please, because this um, I posted on YouTube. Thank you. Hey, it's hello guys at least <laughs> i see i've got people oh good to see you here hey oh mom dad now good to see you here yes guys at least you're giving me some motivation some courage okay let me shout out to my husband he's here with me this part you see it's my husband <laughs> he's laughing so my husband is here um i'm still gonna negotiate for him to say hello when i'm done with the show but he said no before so i don't know he said you want to listen first and check so let me allow him to listen Not at least. <laughs> hi guys yeah i'm listening <laughs> <laughs> welcome <laughs> thanks for being yeah. here no okay later thank you Thank you. Oh yes, guys, lucky you. You saw my husband, finally. Anyway, so, yeah, guys, thank you for, for saying something, you know. Life, life is about talking. Life is about interaction. All right. So, you can say hi to my husband back, guys. Show him some love. Please, don't be jealous. Show him some love, okay? <laughs> so, I said this to Shepard. <laughs> I'm like my husband is here with me and he said to me yo aonga buli like yo <laughs> you bari ni shlung i don't know guys shlung mtana ndo bali na mari changana bari aonga buli eh i don't know what it means in english but yeah you are like you never thought yeah you never thought this day would ever come yes guys i admire people who said my husband this my husband that you you bear with me it's my turn, it's my season, it's my time. My husband this and my husband that. He's here with me. So, as we carry on with the story. Okay, let's say hi, Mr. Odisi. You said hi back. I'm sure you'll say bye when we finish. Okay, guys. So, uh, I was telling you about the restaurant part. I went out. And that time I'm not looking for, for a relationship. I was just complete by myself. And I wanted to find myself, you know. And after I found myself, I just wanted to explore more about me and know what am I called here for. So I discovered my purpose through pain. You know, I used to counsel people. I used to talk to people. I used to pray to people. I used to motivate young girls even before all of these things. And like I said last week that I didn't know that that was my calling for me to heal people's um, hearts, you know, that is why my heart kept on being broken because that is where my, 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 my purpose is, you know, my heart keeps on getting scratched and all of that because that is my field of calling. I didn't understand then. So after I understood, then that is when we launched the fix, remember, in 2019. That time I was not known, right? I'm just, I'm just living my life so i asked god i said to god because you have called me and i am righteous 
I don't want what I'm doing to be like everybody else's. I want you to show me exactly what I need to do. And God said, I want you to speak about your life, your life, everything that is happening in your life. I want you to be authentic. until I became straight. <laughs> you know, a man will break your heart if, until you become straight. I was happy because that was a breakthrough. <laughs> we need many men. <laughs> so, I could have, anything could have happened, but I turned the story around to something better. That was when I discovered myself. So now the trips, I'm going out, I'm going on a back, I'm going on vacations. So the first trip that I took, guys, you don't wanna know. Nobody knows about this story. It's for the first time I share it. And please don't show this to my parents. <laughs> because wow. <laughs> so I book, okay? I'm deciding that this is self-discovery. It's 2020. I'm excited. I'm over the moon. I was over the moon, guys. I was happy. The freedom that I had, the joy that I had, everything was just so, so intact. Everything was so good with me. I, I had everything going, okay? So, okay, I decided to take a trip. All right. Before we go to the trip, guys, say something. Tell me what are you learning so far? 
I want to make sure that they are not sleeping. What have you What have you learned so far? Hello, Mam Betty. Mam Betty. Hello, Mahura. Hello, Butari. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Tell me what you are learning so far. You might find that I am talking, but you guys are not hearing. What I What have you learned so far? What have you What have you draw so far from this? I, just, I, I, I said I looked for happiness in wrong places. So sum it up to you. It's something that you should look for. You should think about. You know, we, we tend not to enjoy our lives because we are running after happiness in wrong places. You know, so bear that in mind. You know, and this I spoke about self-discovery. Once you discover yourself and what you are called here on earth for, you would not compete with anybody. You would not need validation from somebody else because you have discovered yourself. You know, you. I know that I am called for people. When I started, I wanted to tell you this story and something disrupted me. Three weeks ago, I got an, a, a DM from Instagram. And this lady was, she, she just said, I love what you're doing. I'm also God's person. I'm doing this and this. In the kingdom of the lord oh nice it's nice to find kingdom sisters i'm also looking for kingdom sisters who we can pray together do things of god together so i gave her my numbers and um we greeted each other i just like during the week i was hard high i didn't say much so last week saturday not this week the other week saturday when i wake up the voice of god said to me greet this woman uh, ask her about her life. Ask her who is she? What does she do? Where does she come from? And just get to know her, you know? Because she was just, we just greeted and she had told me she wants to invite me on some event to be a speaker, you know? So, but now the Holy Spirit says, ask her about her life. So I'm like, I asked, I'm like, hi, sis, like, who is this person? So she told me, and then I'm like, okay. So in the middle of the conversation, she says to me, I've been married for this long. Let's say, I'm just going to say seven years, but it's, 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 it's plus minus seven years, okay? I'm not going to be specific. So she says, ever since I got married, my, my things got a turn in our lives. My husband had a good business. I had a good job, everything was perfect, but after we got married, everything just went down. The story of job, guys. So she says to me, when everything went down with her life, she says some days we don't even have money for rent. I don't know how many times we have been chased. In, in that plus minus seven years, this is the situation. She says, I've been working a good job, but, I've, but since then I'm applying no interview, nothing. I've not, I've never been called for an interview. I've been prayed for. I've, I've done, I've fasted. I've done everything, you know. But things are just on a standstill. So because I've got a heart for people, I don't want to hear someone say that's why I'm going to the streets. That's why I just want. I don't want to see someone going through something. So I was so tired, and I'm thinking. Should I send her money? But I'm like, I won't be able to send her money every day. And I won't be able to send her money whenever she needs money. So I'm like, God, why did you send me to speak to this lady? Because clearly I can't help, you know? And then the voice of God said, pray for this lady. So I listened, guys. I did a voice note. I prayed. And in that prayer, I did, I prayed the prayer I prayed for myself the other time. I said to God, no more delays. She suffered is enough. And you know, and you can see that even now she's still in your house. You could have done something else. You could have left the marriage, believing that is the marriage that has brought her this case or whatever it is that is going on. But she is still here believing. So we prayed, we prayed in that voice note. Guys, it's a Saturday. And I'm not telling you a joke or something that I've made up. It's just that you won't be able to see. I was going to share with you the screen here to show you the testimony. So, 
we prayed and she was like thank you so much and I, I needed this because i can't even share with someone you know how we are i mean like people celebrate with, on someone else's downfall so people are scared to even speak out so i understood where she was coming from and um that is saturday ne? sunday monday she sends me a message guys it was a monday yeah they called guys she missed the call so i don't know whether she returned the call or what happened because the devil even made her to miss the call now he's getting angry because he sees that breakthrough is coming so now she called back or something i'm not sure what god how god orchestrated that but uh, she got it an invite to an interview this is monday guys we prayed on saturday it's like two days after the prayer so she went to the she went to that interview and they said you know she went on a wednesday and then they said they would respond to it on thursday and on thursday guys guys she got an email that she got a job and on the 19th they didn't even wait for first of july guys not even the first of july on the 19th of june she started a job clap for god Barcelona. clap for god he does exceedingly and abundantly more than what we can ever imagine that, that made me realize why i had to go through whatever i had to go through to be where i am today that testimony touched me you know i cried the day she, when she sent me this I mean, I cried from the interview part because I was like, for plus minus seven years, you are applying. You don't get a call, nothing. And now we, we pray on a Saturday and God shows up on a Monday. That can only be God. No man can do that, but God. And that was a reminder that he hears us. So this is like day before yesterday or last night. Then I get another message. In January, when I got into fasting, I asked, uh, I said, guys, on my WhatsApp, I'll be away and I'm on fasting. I want you guys to bring me prayer points. So they sent me prayer points, plus minus 10 people. Brought me prayer points. I prayed, trusting God for a miracle. Yesterday, I got this testimony that I got a job. You remember you prayed for me? Thank you so much. God has provided. You know, she remembers. It's the prayer done in Jen. But sometimes I didn't speak the words I spoke. This, this was very urgent. I, tell, I told God that the kids need food and I don't have the money right now. This was an urgent prayer. So the January prayer was just was to tell God that this is our expectations this year and we are asking you to provide. Guys, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Okay. Uh, we don't want to disturb you. No, 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 no. You're not disturbing me. Talk, talk, tell me what you are learning, Mrs. Amana. You can't, can't be disturbing me. Mohora says, I'm always, okay, I always regard myself as blessed beyond measure. Yeah, to be your channel. Oh, to be in your channel. Thank you so much because I know I'm going to be blessed. You are blessed in Jesus' name. You are blessed because you believe it. Let it be in your life in Jesus' name. Let it continue. Flourish in your life. May God give you whatever you desire. May your life change. He knows best. He knows what you need. May he meet you at your deepest need, Mohora. And thank you for being here tonight in the name of Jesus. And Mom Betty and says, you are such an inspiration, says. See, I met you at ladies' night. Oh, really? Which? Oh, I only I attended two. Is it the one in 2018? 18 or 19? By Lirato. Mm, I remember that one. And you shared your journey at Pretoria 40s. Yeah. Uh, I remember that one. Oh, okay. Thank you, Betty. It's good to have you here. That's where I met uh, Nelly. Yes, that's where I met Nelly. And... Okay, so I'm going back uh, to the story. So guys, self-discovery, then I go to Maputo. I'm about to finish. I go to Maputo. I book, guys. I wanted to spoil myself. It's my season to flourish. The girl is happy. Hey, you won't believe it. So if it looks good to be true, guys, <laughs> don't take it. 
So this accommodation, it's beautiful. Number one, I just looked for accommodation in Maputo. I've never been there, right? And I'm exploring. Remember, I'm in a self-discovery journey. Now I'm, I trust myself. I started here. I started by exploring Joe Bag, going to expensive restaurants, dressing up. Now I see it's possible. So I'm like, let me take seven days for my birthday and celebrate this 33-year-old who has done well for herself. So I look for accommodation online and I get it. Beautiful place. So the place is in Vinaculos. Rachas does not know where Vinaculos is. I mean, I just want to go to Maputo. Okay, so the place looks good. The accommodation, when you are in your chalet, the beach is just here. So I'm thinking, this is what I need for a single trip, for a solo person like me. I'm going to enjoy, right? So the place is, per night is 350. Okay. Then I book. 350 is nothing, guys. But I had put at least 10K on the side for this trip, for this holiday. Self-love, self-score. Do that for yourself. Love yourself enough, guys, to do good for yourself. Do good. I said to you, don't wait for something to happen until you enjoy your life. What if you get into the car and you get into a car accident? Friday, Sunday, Mr. Ndlova Church said, heaven is so close. You can just leave your house and get bumped by a car. <laughs> then you are in heaven. The way, the way he said it, it was so simple, but you... I, you get to realize that that is true and you are still waiting for this man you are still waiting for this lady you are still waiting for for a promotion you are still waiting for your business to get well or get better for you to enjoy your life and tomorrow you get out of the house you get bumped by a car and you're in heaven what have you enjoyed in this life so guys, I've learned that life is so short and must be enjoyed. If I've got 100 rand and now I feel like McDonald's, why shouldn't I get McDonald's for myself? Why shouldn't I? I must go get McDonald's and satisfy my needs. That's what I want right now. So life is short, but Zalwane, leave it. You are given today. Leave it to your best of ability. Do good by yourself. Self-love is very important. If you love yourself, you will attract love. It starts with you. It starts with you. I mean, if I didn't love myself the way I did, I wouldn't have attracted love. That's how life is. You attract who you are. So, story four, fast forward. Then I booked. I'm excited. So I decided that I, I want to make this a road trip. I want to see where I'm going. I don't just want to fly, find myself in Maputo. Okay, so I booked a bus <laughs> to Maputo. Then the date came, I get to Park Station. I'm alone, guys. Very alone. <laughs> hey, that day, I will never forget it. So I get to Park Station, and then they are setting, you sit uh, according to where you are going. So they asked me, where are you going? Then I showed them my phone. I'm like, I'm going to Vinaculos. They said, what? <laughs> Vinaculos <laughs> is 13 hours from Maputo. I was like, what? And I wanted to die. They said it's they, did they say 13 or 9. I don't remember. But plus minus those hours. So I got confused. I'm like, so what am I going to do? They're like, when you get to Mozambique, you will take another bus. That you will drive the whole day to get there. So I left here Tuesday night. I got to Maputo 8 a.m. because of the borders. We had to stay for some for the border gates to be open till the morning. So I'm looking for shuttle on the way. Okay. Then there's nothing I can do. And then I get this bus. When I get I took that bus at 9 a.m. Now it's Wednesday. Took that bus at 9. So that bus stops in every, I know Boma Singa, I know Shai Shai, I know Berlin, I know all these places because it, it stops in every village of Mozambique. Guys, it's 
10 is 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. Around 4, we get to this area. I think it's my senior. I can't forget this one. They were on strike. They were, they were, they were breaking things. They, you know when people are angry, so they do whatever. Guys, that day, if I didn't die, die that day alone, I will never die again. That's not when God says, I will only die when God says, righteous is your turn, is your time. So the bus guy forced himself to drive through where these people were burning cars, burning things, throwing stones. Guys, they threw stones. I saw a stone here, just here. Oh, guys, I can't. <laughs> That day, I saw God. I don't even know how I was in, what made me to sit like this. Because the stone passed. You know, I was seated by the window. It just went, guys. Just, and I was like, Jesus. There was a shock. Of my, like, I, I don't know. Imagine I'm all by myself. I'm going to a place I don't know. And I still have, like, the, the GPS. That bus does not even have... Um, that charger is the bus. It's just my diva dede. I'm wearing a kulela bush. My diva dede. So the day, it was the day that would add him in every village. So if if I na elia ele makaya, if I na na dede. Story of my life. Anyway, God save me. <laughs> Love for him again. Say something, guys. You can't be quiet. Let's take a break. So far, say something. Woo, time is on our, not on, on our side. Say something. Say something as we are about to end this. But where am I drawing you is that whatever that you want in your life, don't wait for something to happen so that you can finish. Anyway, God has blessed me. I finally got there. And guess what time I got there? 9 p.m. <laughs> When I get there, guys, it's not even Vilanculos. They leave me on the road and they say you're going to take a taxi to Vilanculos. <laughs> 9 p.m. All by myself. And you know how dangerous is South Africa? Now I'm so scared. When they told me that they were going to leave me somewhere, I'm thinking, this time, <laughs> I'm not going to get to where I'm going. My parents now are panicking. <laughs> they are calling and they're thinking, what am I going to do there? What has forced me? <laughs> to go that far through my life they leave me and they said when we get to this other village they say people from Villagulos they say take a taxi the taxis guess what the taxis are it's in the other Africa part Bucky's guys so we waited I got this other man who said hey, no job action you could see that I'm so confused like I just want to go back I just I don't know what to do so he's like, uh, don't worry, the taxi is coming. I'm expecting a real taxi. And guess what? A backy, an old backy. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm going to be kidnapped. Now it's half past 9 to 10 p.m. I'm, like, I'm going to be kidnapped. <laughs> but God was with me. <laughs> I'm a risk taker, she me. I should. Then I'm thinking it's going to take me to the hotel. I guess I still need to call. I still need to take another taxi. Then I called the hotel. Guys, they came to fetch me. <laughs> so I'm happy that, okay, the traveling saga is gone. Now I'm going to enjoy my beautiful accommodation. Finally, I got there. <laughs> then I get to the guest house. So they put me in. And then when I, when, when I finished, they asked me, <laughs> Where is the tent? <laughs> Do you understand this joke? <laughs> so they're like, where is the tent? And I'm like, tent? Tent for? They're like, you, you booked for a camping place. <laughs> Guys, the three fifty was for a camping place. Imagine! I'm like, what? <laughs> I got confused. But luckily, because I paid like 350 plus 350 and seven nights, I had reserved some money, thank God. And the guest house was not fully booked, thank God. Because I was able to pay <laughs> extra money. I think I paid extra 9k. Vacation alone, sleep alone. 
right alone know yourself you know just once you know yourself no distraction no distraction people get if you trust yourself i think the problem is with yourself i trust myself that i can go anywhere anytime and i'm not gonna be tempted of doing hi guys uh network went off on me network went off on me please tell me what you've learned please tell me are you done Okay, I ran out of data. Hey sis, happy to join in. Though I'm late. Better late than never. Better late than never. Welcome, Deli Pony. Kamaru, Kamaru. Is it Ponet? <laughs> yeah, it's you. Oh, my loving sister. I'm so happy. You're using a different name here. I didn't know that you had... Who's the Liporni, my friend? So this is my friend from Syria. We met two years ago and we just connected. I love you so much, Sissy. So that is more about it, though, guys. Tonight, I'm not sure if the network is strong enough because I just ran out of data. But... Hmm? Uh, I'm gonna try to reconnect. Okay, while I while I sort out my data, guys, please tell me what you you you've had. Okay, so we are back. Network has messed us up, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. So I was just uh, asking you if if you've learned if you if you've had something. So that is that is it, guys. I just wanted to 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 remind you that today is a gift. Live it to the best of of your ability. And the best thing in life is to live your purpose. So find out what God has called you here for. And live it to your best, you know. Um, there's a scripture that I want to end this with in the book of Second uh, Corinthians four, verse eight. It says that we are hard pressed on every side but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. That's how Christianity is. It's to be pressed down, it's to be crushed, it's to be crucified, it's to be talked bad at, is to be crushed is to be pressed down in every side christianity that is the journey that god has is, is designed for because that is what has happened to jesus christ he was crucified each and every day he was pressed down each and every day but he was never destroyed so you will never be destroyed anything that you are going through Maybe it's something that is taking you to your purpose. Maybe it's something that is leading you to where God wants you to be. It's just that you are not aware as yet. All that you need to do is to trust in the power of God and know that even though you are pressed, but you'll never be crushed. You are unique. You have been created for your own reason, for your own purpose. And God loves you the way you are. So thank you guys. Um, for, for joining me yeah that is what the fish is about brother so tell me what do you think what do you think hi guys <laughs> me you're not telling the guys okay uh thank you for this opportunity you didn't have it <laughs> You're gonna beat me after this. So, yeah. <laughs> okay.
Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Do not be so. I don't know what to do. So, yeah. Maybe you'll, you'll be seeing a lot of me from now on. Because, uh, yeah, I, I know a lot of men from there. From the previous time as well. So, thank you very much. So, can I ask you to join me next week? You tell us about your youth then. Young boy. Yeah, I think okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, brothers, I've got I've got stuff I've got big stuff for you next week. Guys, please join us next week Thursday as we are ending youth month because we've got we've got we've got the youth journey. We I met my husband when I was in Sunday school and that time we were how old? I think I was seven, eight that time. So he was my crush, guys. <laughs> and fortunately, I was also his crush. <laughs> but anyway, today is not about the relationship. We're still going to tell you about how we met. So it's nice to join my lives. You see, today you, you had even a surprise to meet Mr. Ulisi officially. Yay. <laughs> and he's even, it was not even, you see how God works. <laughs> I asked him to join me next week, but he said you're going to see a lot of his face. <laughs> now I'm saying that I didn't, I didn't even ask him for a lot of his face, but already he has given himself for you guys to see a lot of his face. Please greet my husband, guys. Greet my husband. Do you have questions for him? <laughs> Do you have questions for him to prepare on, on the youth journey next week? Help him out to know what to talk about. Please help him. Okay, Mohora said uh, she learned that. Is this not your S1 finishing? I learned uh, self identity. Hmm? It is? Okay. I learned self identity crisis issues as Christians. It's like we try to prove for the world that we could do certain things. While we have to stand out, that most definitely, you know, some people they don't even know that you are a Christian because you keep hiding it. Christianity should not, shouldn't be something that you are shy about. You must be loud. I'm very loud about my Christianity because I'm proud of God. I know I'm the product of God's mercy. So why should you hide your identity? Know yourself. You've been created by the image of the Lord. So you need to walk. That is what they were talking about on Sunday. Kingdom, when you're in the kingdom, you've got everything. Walk the talk. Walk look like you're a child of God. Even when challenges strike, they should know that this one, we know today she's going to be crying, but tomorrow she's walking the talk. You are smiling in the midst of storms. You are smiling in the midst of challenges because you know who's you, who you are and whose you are. That's very important. Whose you are. If you know whose you are, you will never stumble. Guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this now because we are about to have low shedding here. Thank you for joining and God bless you. I'm just going to hold hands with my guy and we're just going to pray for you tonight. Anything that you want from God, believe that it is done for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you, we worship you. We give you all the glory. We thank you that you are helping us to discover ourselves. We can get in anywhere. And things will happen. Where they say it's impossible, we can go in and God, things will change. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for tonight. We thank you for this powerful show. We pray for that one and that one who needs you the most. That may you touch them, oh God, for your purpose. May you heal them, God Almighty, in every way. May you show them your grace, your power, and that you are God all by yourself, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, tonight we thank you for the grace and opportunity that you have given us. We appreciate you and we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, beautiful people. God bless you. Let me see you next week, Thursday. Same time. I don't know if it's going to be same time because of load shedding. 
but most definitely I'm seeing you next week. Thursday, could be seven or earlier. Thank you guys. Say your goodbyes and tell us what we have learned quickly before we go off. We still have four minutes. Please tell us what you have learned. Tell us what you have learned and tell us what you would want us to, to, to touch on. We are starting a new month. The youth journey is ending. So we're going to be starting a new month. You're gonna, you must tell me what you want me to talk about. Tell me what you want me to talk about. Thank you guys. God bless you. Thank you for joining. We had a very powerful session tonight. And the most beautiful thing is when you're doing something that the Lord say, said do, and you see people following. It's, uh, I hope that one person that God wanted to speak to tonight, uh, yes. Okay. Say your goodbyes, Kayla. Say your goodbyes. I missed your chat. Critics, uh, Shitunzusho. Thank you for being here. Amen and amen. Thank you, Sissy. Thank you for being here tonight and participating. God bless you. Yes, Critics, uh, please tell us what we would want us to talk about. Next week, it's, it's, a, it's a men's show. It's men's house. We're going to be having guys here. We want lots of guys next week, guys. You must attend. My husband can't be talking to, to women. So we want to invite more guys. Invite more guys. Uh, invite your brothers, your dads, your boyfriends. Uh, they must be here. They must be here. Bye. God bless you. God bless you, affectionate. Thank you for finally saying something. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yes, guys, invite, sure. And we bless God. We bless the Lord. Mark Amana, Queen. Queen, I want to look bye bye, Mark Aman. So, um, what time? Same time, I think seven. It will depend on load shedding, but I think it's going to be seven. So, you must tell me what you. Okay, we'll be talking about youth. He will be sharing his stories and how God has blessed him, where he's coming from. Oh, he says we'll be getting... Yeah, Mrs. Oh, my Lord, Buti is tired. <laughs> I knew that when you get in here, you're going to say something out of head. Just say thank you, Buti, for being here. How You don't appreciate him. Alright guys, what is the boutique? I love you guys. God bless you. See you next week.